What's up guys, Shuri here. Today we're going to be doing a CUDA tutorial video. Um, you want to have I, Daredevil, um, I'm using Antidote Chest, just because it's new and see what that is. Um, I either want to use Wasp, and if you don't have that, then um, the Survivor is really good, just whatever you want really. The Daredevil and I or Darkstalker are very important here. For perks, what you really need are High Ground. This is very important, and also Berserk. These two will help you be able to two-shot with the Daredevil pants. The first thing is make sure you take advantage of your Daredevil pants. This is very important because that's how you two-shot with this gun. Right there, I let aim assist kind of take it where it wants to go. Never fight aim assist. You will always lose. So right here, I get my first kill. He's running in. I still have Daredevil. Now I have two Daredevils, so it's hitting for 7,000. And now I'm hitting for 760 with the Wasp. Daredevil, it actually stacks up on top of each other if it hasn't gone away yet, so that way you can do an insane amount of damage with multiple Daredevil procs. And so right here I get the first kill, that means I can go and one-shot somebody with a headshot. And knowing about that is very important. Right here I get that kill, I have my eye going, now I know everyone I hit will die one shot automatically with a headshot. And it's so important to do that. Once you get that kill, you have three seconds that you can one-shot. The biggest thing with this is you have to be fast because it does take time to shoot and so you need to find your next target and even when you're shooting the first guy you want to start to find the second guy. The second thing you want to make great use of your backup weapon. Right here I know this guy's on the other side of this it's not a great idea to use the Barracuda so I'm gonna switch to my wasp get the kill and that allows me to start using my daredevil and start to switch to it and then just get a nice four at once and that's the biggest thing Sometimes you just have to start out with your wasp or your uh, survivor. And right here, it's the exact opposite. I start out with my barracuda, switch to the wasp, and then I go barracuda then to get the rest of the damage, go to wasp. And that's how sometimes it needs to work. And then sometimes you also just shoot the second shot with your barracuda. But you don't always just want to shoot twice with a barracuda. This mostly just comes down to distance. Like, if you're far away, then you want to shoot twice with your barracuda. If you're up close, I mean, the Barracuda does less damage once you get to a certain distance. So it's just better to shoot Wasp. And also, it's faster sometimes to just use your Wasp or your Survivor. Um, you can also get them low with the Survivor or Wasp and then switch, and that way it's a one-shot. And, like, right here, I'm doing that little bit of damage with my Survivor, and then I bring out my Barracuda, and then it's a one-shot, and from there I can just start one-shotting people because of Daredevil. Third most important thing... It's okay to have body shots if they're low. So sometimes you need to hit a headshot like right there, but there's other times that it doesn't really matter. Like right here, you get the headshot, and you know that a body shot's gonna give you that merciless kill, so you don't have to worry about lining up the headshot. It's not always about getting the headshot. A merciless kill and a headshot are the exact same amount of points. So a merciless kill is killing someone, and the shot would have done 1,200 damage over killing them. So, that way, you know if they have very little health, that a body shot's gonna give you the merciless. So, you don't have to get a headshot, it'll count just the same. Like, right here, you get that merciless. As long as you're getting a merciless and not a, just a regular kill, then it doesn't matter at all. And with the first kill, it doesn't matter, like, hardly at all. Because you get 10 points instead of 12, but it doesn't matter. When you get a double kill or a triple kill, it does matter. The reason it matters then is because you don't actually get a bonus for it if you don't get something special, either a merciless or a headshot. But if it's your first kill, like, two points isn't going to kill anything, so don't worry about it then. But right there, that first kill, don't really worry about it. And then second one, I'm getting the merciless, so I'm getting bonus points for it. And then the triple kill's a one-shot, and all that mattered was getting the kill and instead of just worrying about the headshot and maybe not getting a kill. So, um... That, that's where it's so important, like Merciless right there. I get my Domination bonus, Unstoppable bonus, and my Defense bonus, and it does the same points as a Headshot. Right here, I'm just running in my Wasp, go ahead and get the Blade Master, pick up somebody else's Barracuda, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not worried about lining the Headshot up, especially when I have only 100 points, and then after I get the Body Shot, I follow it up with a Headshot and get the kill. One of the most important things is putting it all together. So right here, I'm just going to come out and get my headshot and then try to find that next kill, get the one-shot headshot kill. 
trying to find, do the same exact thing. Right here, I'm not really worried. Just got to get the body shot, merciless kill. It doesn't matter. Headshots, merciless, same thing. And then you got another guy coming. You get that headshot, and then you just try to line up that double kill. You get it, and then you're just trying to find your next kill. Because that's the most important thing with the Barracuda nowadays, is just finding that second kill within three seconds so your Daredevil pants can help you one-shot them. Because with Orochis everywhere, that one-shot is so important. It is so, so important. Right there, get another Merciless kill, and that's where it's at. You just gotta either get a Headshot or a Merciless, and that's all that's important. Right here, run out of ammo. That's where your backup weapon can come in. And also, that's the one thing where you do want to get headshots is it'll replace your Barracuda ammo. Right here, use that backup weapon, run in there, get that Daredevil pants going. You turn around, find that last kill real quick, and you just shoot up, get that four at once. This gun is very action-packed, and it's all about being quick with it. And that's why sometimes it don't matter if you get that body shot. As long as you're going fast, that means you can one-shot the next guy. And you just want to make sure that you keep going. And this gun is so good for multi-kills for this reason. And you can just post up on the side of a little ramp right here. Make it to where they can't shoot you until it's too late for them. Like, that's how you're going to beat the Orochis. Is when you can one-shot kill them, that's the only way you can really beat them. Is, like, don't let them see you until you're ready. And you come out there, you shoot them in the head, kill them in one shot... Or you get it to where you can get back like out of the line of sight and then just pop back in for the second shot and then start just going for the second double kill. Right there you switch the weapons and like I ran out of ammo so I didn't have a choice. But luckily with the wasp you can just run it up in there and it's not a big deal. And right here you get that headshot and then you just go for the next kill. And you just have to be so fast with this weapon. And that's why I love using it. I think it's a ton of fun. Um, it can compete with any of the top weapons out there. You just have to be smart about it. And you've got to make sure that you capitalize on using your Daredevil. And if you need to use your uh, backup weapon, like right there, I would have died to that sunburst if I would have tried to shoot him with the Barracuda. So I switched my backup weapon and killed him faster. Running over, trying to keep the streak alive, you know, go get the hill, using grenades, doing whatever you got to do. And then you just post up, wait for somebody to come by, hit them in the head. Once you get that headshot, switch to the backup weapon, get the kill. Just do what you gotta do with this. Like, that's the main thing that this combo does, is gets you in a position where you can shoot them once to kill them. And then every time after that, for three seconds, have another one-shot headshot. And it gives you insane streaks and gives you really good multi-kills. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, share this with anyone you think might like it. Have a great day, guys.